So the WRU's review is complete of what's going on in the Welsh game and what they think they can do to improve it. And yesterday they came out and explained what was going to be the plan going forward over the next five years. And they came out with five points, I guess, and five goals. So I'll just go through those. So the first one, both sides to be consistently ranked in the top five of the international rugby. Fair enough, quite like a hefty goal when you consider, you know, you've got South Africa... Ireland, uh, New Zealand, they're always probably going to be in the top three and then you'll have France obviously as well and then we're you know, trying to break into that little tier, that's difficult but that's where we got to aim so you know, I'm happy with that. Um, the other one was, number two was for the regions to be consistently challenging in the playoffs in the URC which is obviously necessary, brings more revenue, better for the game, um, it brings you know, more sort of eyes to the rugby and more success is just great, obviously. Um, then growing active participants and growing the women's games. Um, in the men's side, they specifically uh, want to target youth, I think, um, and improve uh, youth setups and getting more youth people in and drawing them away from maybe other sports and other activities. And then growing the women's game to make us more competitive, whether that means a permanent team in Wales uh, or something like that we don't know but um, growing the women's game and then number four is financial stability for the union and the regions which is a no-brainer um, but obviously good that they've recognized that and then fifth was just a bit of a weird one but it's uh, let me just read it increase the percentage of Welsh the Welsh public that feels good about Welsh rugby so I mean win some games that would be a good one um, but generally they just want to get Welsh rugby feeling a bit better and I guess they want to get the WRU to look a bit better in the Welsh rugby public's like because at the moment anyone who's a Welsh rugby fan, if you ask them what they think of the WRU, you'll struggle to find anyone who thinks they're doing or have done a good job historically. So uh, I guess that's more of a personal thing for them. So that's the five things. Um, it's pretty, you know, a lot of them are like obvious, but... We don't know how the things haven't been run in an obvious way in the WRU for a while, so or for a, for a long time. So, you know, getting some obvious structure and some obvious goals and some targets over the next five years is good. Um, I feel quite positive after hearing that and listen uh, listening to Abby Tierney and Richard Collier Keywood speak because then you see like they seem like they understand how to run a big organization. They understand where we are at the moment. And but they seem like they have a clear idea of what they want to do and how they want to grow the game and move us forward. Um, there is going to be no sort of plan or strategy outlined yet. That's going to apparently come in October, I believe. Um, so that's going to come in October where they actually outline how they plan to implement these five goals. Uh, so that gives them a bit of time to come up with a plan and a structure of what's going to happen and stuff like that. I guess the interesting talking points are that they said there's no plans to cut a, re cut a region at the moment. So through what they've researched, speaking to coaches and obviously the regions, they feel the best way for Wales to succeed and Welsh rugby to succeed is with four regions, which is obviously what is obvious and it's good. Um, but that comes with his own issues with the funding and stuff. They still refuse to rule out a region getting cut after this five-year plan has gone because you know they can't see they can't see that far into the future. But for now, we've got four regions, and I guess for now we can stop talking about cutting a region and see what they come up with as a strategy. The other real stark sort of. Uh, thing was the finances where they shed a little bit of light so um, apparently the WRU when they took over from the previous uh, stewardship was running at minus 15 million a year a deficit so basically every year they were in operation they were spending 15 million more than they were making uh, it's just not sustainable and how that was even got to that point is, is shocking I understand a lot of professional sport is run at, at a deficit in this day and age. It's just the nature of it. But for that, that is a big, big deficit. So obviously they're going to have to close that. Then 
they were sort of managing with that but once covid hit it just shone a light on how the finances weren't right they ended up having to borrow a lot of money they borrowed 24 million during covid so they've got a debt of 24 million and they were running at a deficit of 15 so i mean that is just simply unattainable um so the plan is to restructure the debt that they got hopefully that's something they can do uh, there's been a lot of talk of they had money off the uh, Welsh government, which was at quite a high interest rate. And there's been talk of hopefully they can bring that down, even though the, the Welsh government have been quite uh, stern with not reducing that interest rate. Hopefully they'll do that. And then the other way was to obviously do cuts, which, you know, you don't want to see. But that's how we've ended up with the regions being funded the way they are with due to cuts because the spending was just clearly out of control. Um, the worrying thing that they did mention um, is they're only now getting on top of the finances in the whole time they've been in charge. I, know, I guess it's not that long, but in the f- few months that they've been in charge, they've, they're only now getting on top of where the finances are, which it just shows how much of a shambles the finances were, the fact that it's taken this long. Um, and the real thing uh, I heard, Steph, I think it was on the Scrum 5 uh, podcast, Stefan Thomas was talking about what he's worried about is they've got to basically make up a deficit of £35 million, uh to fund the regions. And they've got to do that over five years. And that is a big chunk of change to make up. Um, and in his opinion, he was basically saying it's going to be very difficult to get to the five years if they haven't close that gap then it's going to end up being the talks again of we might have to cut the region because it's the only way we can sustain it so i don't know what if that's right or or not obviously 35 million is a massive amount of money but they seemed pretty hopeful they were positive and they felt like they wanted to take positivity people to take positivity away from this structure and what their plans are and what they plan to do going forward now. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy. It'll be more interesting now in uh, October when the actual plan comes out, uh, because at the moment it's all goals. We want to do this. We want to grow part- participation. How are you going to do that? We need to increase the funding and bring money from elsewhere. How are you going to do that? Um, there's all little things like that. Also, Richard Collier Key would mention that they'd sold future rights this year because the deficit was so bad to be able to sustain things they had to sell future rights which means money in the future that they potentially would have made is going to be less now because they've already sold part of that so they've basically sold out there a little bit of their future for just managing to keep things running at the moment which is worrying but it seems like we've got some good people in charge they seem like they understand the gravity of the situation and hopefully seems like they're going to come up with a plan to eventually get us out of it and this could be rock bottom now maybe another year or two of it but maybe in a couple of years then this is the point where we get back sort of some ascendancy get back into running the WRU and Welsh rugby the way it needs to be and things are more sustainable and eventually in a few years things will be better and we'll have a secure game because at the moment rugby in Wales is it's just every couple of years it's like oh you know this could be the end of rugby for Wales we could be losing a region we could be using this the players are going on strike hopefully this is the beginning of getting rid of all of that rubbish but it remains to be seen and only time will tell I'd like to know what you guys think thanks for watching